Hi everybody, this is Casey of Upcycled Island, and today we're going to talk patterns. Now, I am not going to give you a know-all, end-all uh, discussion on patterns. I'm just going to tell you how I handle mine, how I uh, copy or trace my patterns, how I use them, and how I store them. Here is a pattern that I have made a lot. Uh, I make an oversized t-shirt pattern for this. So I use a knit, a lightweight knit. And um, what I have found, and here's your lecture for the day. Uh, don't cut your patterns, <laughs> trace them. I have learned that through experience and through reading and YouTubing and all that kind of thing. And, um, the reason you are not going to be the same size forever. You are not going to be the same size at age 30 <laughs> that you were at 18, even if you don't change any of your habits. You're just not. You're going to expand. <laughs> and when you're even older, you're going to expand in different places and sag in different places. So your patterns are going to change. And so if you cut your patterns, you're kind of stuck and you have to add to them and, you know, take away from them and all that. So don't cut your pattern itself, trace your pattern. And that way on a multi-size pattern, uh, you can trace your size and make the adjustments that you need to make. And uh, you won't have to keep doing that. When you do change, you can trace it again in your new size. So that's my advice for you today as far as don't cut patterns, trace them. Okay, here's my pattern and there's my traced part of it. Uh, I find the pieces of the pattern that I need and I pull those out and then I put everything else back into the pattern envelope so I won't lose anything. And then I trace the pattern pieces that I'm using. And here are my traced pattern pieces. So I have traced them onto this paper. I have them the length that I want, the size that I want. This was a pattern that had three pattern sizes, three sizes. And so I trace the size that I wanted uh, onto this paper. And the way I do that, let's get a pattern piece out here. Here's my pattern piece. And it's considerably longer than what I decided to go with. And here's the top front and the top back. So you get two pattern pieces. And I just left them together. And I spread them out. And so, as you can see, this pattern piece is longer than the one that I uh, have a copy of. That's the sleeve. Here's the front. And that's because I made adjustments. This is what I kept. I didn't want it as long as the other one. So anyway, here's what we do. We put out the pattern piece you want to copy onto your board. And then I use this. And I'm going to tell you, this is pretty inexpensive. If you get pattern tracing paper at the sewing store, it's kind of pricey. This, in comparison, is cheap. And what this is, is the rolls of paper. It's thin. You can see through it. You can trace through it quite easily. And um, it doesn't tear too easily. This is paper that comes in rolls 
and is what you sit on in the examining table at the doctor's office. So this is examining table paper. <laughs> and it comes in rolls and you can get it on Amazon. And you can get it in individual rolls or you can get it in boxes of 12 or six or something. It's cheaper by the roll if you buy in quantity, of course. Uh, I, of course, bought <laughs> a roll of 12 or some such which I'll never be able to use in my lifetime, so I'll just be giving it away. But uh, it's very handy. And uh, I usually, uh, you just put it over your pattern, and you can see through it enough to trace all your lines. And uh, you just trace the size that you want. So it has the different sizes. Just trace the size that you want onto this paper. And that's it. Now, when I trace, I trace the lines, the outside lines of the pattern. I also note the number of the pattern piece and what it is, top front, this is two, top front, and then I uh, put the number of the pattern, that it's McCall's, where's the number? 4393, and I put that here, McCall's 4393. And uh, the uh, notches, I trace the notches. If there are darts, I'll trace those darts and any uh, notes that come with it. I trace, uh, I mean, I note that this is on the fold, so I'll put the markings uh, place on fold, cut on fold. So any necessary markings I also put on my traced piece. Now, uh, and I do that with all the pieces that I'm going to use. Then, here's another hint. <laughs> when, uh, when you go to put your <laughs> pattern piece, when you're through with it, and you haven't cut it, it's not as easy to fold the way it was originally. So it may not be, you know, easier to fold. It's like a map. Sometimes they're just a big pain trying to get them folded. But as soon as I uh, trace the piece, it goes back into pattern envelopes, so I won't lose anything. Um, when I take my individual pieces and I'm through cutting them out, I'm through cutting out my uh, top, then I will fold it back up. And when I put my pattern piece back in, I make sure that the number of the pattern piece and what it is, is on top. So if I'm sewing and I forgot to put in a dart or something, to trace in the dart on my fabric, I can run and get this pattern piece without having to look through all of them. And I have this uh, on top and I can grab the correct pattern piece so I can make any changes I need to. Um, and here's the, the back. I have that all, those notes on there. Once I've traced the pattern pieces that I'm going to use regularly, is I use this pattern, I make this pattern a lot. Then I put it in a separate plastic bag and I don't seal it because I don't want air in it. And then when I'm ready to put everything back up, I put the plastic bag with the pattern pieces that I've traced 
in my correct size in there in that pattern envelope. Next time I'm going to make this top, I just pull out the pattern that I'm going to use and I don't have to deal with the rest of the pattern pieces in the envelope. They'll stay in the envelope. So that's a hint. Oh, I do want to give credit. Uh, I did not come up with this idea on my own. I saw this on a YouTube video, and it is by a little girl in Canada who teaches sewing at a school, and her channel is My Sewing Teacher. My Sewing Teacher, and she gives some good helpful hints. This has been uh, one of my favorite hacks. <laughs> that I've gotten on YouTube. So that's how I uh, trace my patterns and uh, keep them in the envelope. And then after that, uh, how do I store them? I have a simple method. I have these plastic containers. They're about the size of a shoebox. And uh, I have one that is uh, it says clothes, dresses, and then I have one that is, uh, it says clothes, tops. I have one that uh, is for sets, so it would be skirts and jackets and tops, you know, where there's a whole set of clothes. And then I have a couple one that is uh, bags and accessories, and then I have another one that has miscellaneous uh, accessories like hats and uh, collars and things like that. So that's how I store them. That's all I have for you today, just simply how to trace and use and store your patterns the way, uh, you know, the way that I do it. I hope that's helpful to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.